what a scrap that was. I, I don't know if that's the cowboy that I'm going to see. He was scrapping in that fight, and he gave it all, and he still didn't win that decision. So, uh, you know, I'm not looking to go to a decision. I'm looking to rip his face apart and put him to sleep. How about the flip side? Is this going to be the best Mike Perry? Absolutely. Uh, I, I got extra time in in the mountains uh, with Jackson Wing and uh, Frank the Tank. We got the mitts working, and uh, I, I mean, I, I just went home to Florida, hit mitts with my old coach. Everybody can see how much sharper I am from from working uh, the repetition every day, constantly. You know, every day I'm working shoulders up, hands up, knees bent, work side to side. And the more that I do that, the more that I do that, the more it becomes natural. And I'm doing it every single day. I'm too powerful. How's the atmosphere right now at, uh, at Jackson's? I mean, after Cowboy came out on the, on, on the Joe Rogan show and said that, what, uh, what's it like? Uh, the atmosphere in Albuquerque, New Mexico is a little hard to breathe, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you're up there, the elevation takes some of the oxygen, and uh, I get what you're saying, but ain't nobody worried about none of that. Uh, if anything, if there is some tension, if there is some people, you know, kind of ducking their heads around me or something like that, that only adds to it. It keeps the pressure on me. And that keeps me sharp, keeps me going. Because the night of the fight, I'm, I'm definitely going to feel some pressure. And I'm sure Cowboy will too, but that's why we do this shit, man. Uh, any, any plans to uh, bury the hatchet once it's all over with? I mean, there's, uh, I don't know if there is a hatchet. You know what I'm saying? It's just Cowboy, uh, the, the media turns it into one thing. Like me and Cowboy was the best of friends. And then we switched up. I mean, some of the people who know him just took an opportunity with training a younger fighter who's got more ahead of him maybe you know what I'm saying like uh, people compare oh like the Tiger Woods thing so many people said he wasn't he was never gonna be the old Tiger again and then he came back and he won this tournament but this ain't golf you know what I'm saying you can't play this shit till you 80 so <laughs> One of, the, one of the guys you've uh, developed a good relationship with at Jackson's is John Jones, and we see that he's going to be returning. How happy were you for him to see him uh, you know, get back in the octagon? Oh, man. I'm super excited for John, and uh, he gets to continue his legacy of being the greatest right now. And, uh, you know, nobody's really uh, – it is what it is. His skills did the job. People believe in that, and uh, his skills are going to return to the octagon. He ain't going to fail no more tests, you know what I'm saying? He's training hard, and I'm grateful to learn from a great champion like that. It seems like you guys clicked right away. Uh, what was that when you first met him? Uh, you know, Describe that exchange that you guys had. Real recognized real, bro. It is what it is. It's, it's just how it goes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shit, we both like the same things in life. Get money, fucking people up pretty girls, you know what I'm saying, but he got family and all that, so I'm just kidding, but he, he points them out to me, like, hey, Mike, go get those ones. <laughs> what did you make of Till versus Woodley? <laughs> Fuck, thank God a champion did what we've been waiting for a champion to do, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if that shows that the 18 fights Darren Till has, it shows that his, uh, a little bit of padding in his record. Not that the padding was intentional on his part. I'm sure he took the fights as they came to him. But, um, you know, I knew T. Woodley was strong, but how many times in this sport have I been like, man, this, it should go this way. This guy should kill this guy. And then I'd just be totally wrong. But I was, I was like, man, I'm hoping he does that. And then I was kind of second guessing myself because every time I've done it, it didn't go that way. So I was like, I don't know, Till's, and, and here's the thing about it. What we want to see in somebody is be excited. And Till was very excited. He was very happy to be there. He's like, yeah, I'm the best. And then T. Willie was like over it. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of y'all talking shit all the time. Y'all always do. Watch what I do. Watch what I do. And we were like, we don't know if we can believe it. And then he came out there and he did it, man. 100% ass whooping to the best of his ability. And um, you know what I'm saying? I just... Ain't nobody gonna do that shit to me. It ain't going down like that. Not 90 to, to zero. I'm I'm coming at everybody's throat. Even in fights that I've been losing, I've been bleeding like a motherfucker. Check the third round, bro. Check the fight. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming at these guys' heads. And there's little tricks that people play that I didn't see before. And I, I'm learning from that. Like Ponzinibbio. I hit him with the overhand right. But he's like pulling away and he's drawing me in as he's running backwards, setting things up. I'm seeing that now. I'm not just chasing after people all willy-nilly. So I can be patient. I hit you, you run away, trying to bait me in. I just 
Let you look stupid. Who's your pick in uh, Saturday's main event between Connor and Khabib? How, how do you think that fight goes down? I got Connor, man. He's landing some uppercuts and some knees. Uh, stopping that takedown. Uh, you know, I'm hoping that Khabib can get some takedowns. I'm hoping that Khabib can put some work and that when Connor gets up and squirms out of it, maybe it breaks him a little bit. And then every time he keeps going for it. Boom, if he, he just got to get that separation. If Khabib gets the takedown, when he gets up, he can't let him hold on to him. He just got to create the hip space and then break away and hit him. And I think Connor's going to hit him every time Khabib's close to him. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way to deal with a guy that wants to lean on you is just hurt him. It's like I keep saying, you know, it's like a, a porcupine. You can't hold on to a porcupine if he's just poking you with them quills. Any other fight on the 